स्किल स्केल एंड स्पीड बहुत बड़े स्केल पर सोचने की आदत देश में खड़ी करनी होगी और उसको पूरा करने की आदत बना One trillion digital economy by financial year 2026. Indian electronics market pegged at 155 billion dollars. Fiscal incentives for ESDM and allied sectors at 30 billion dollars. Electronic exports have become the sixth largest export commodity group as of March 2023. India is the second largest. mobile phone manufacturer globally production linked incentive scheme for large scale electronics manufacturing and it hardware A massive technological and industrial transformation is unfolding in India. India now produces 97% of its total mobile phone demand locally. Mobile phone manufacturing in value terms jumped 21 fold to 4.1 lakh crore rupees in India in the last 10 years. India is pushing to boost domestic manufacturing of IT hardware, military aircraft and semiconductors through various incentive schemes and initiatives. India's manufacturing economy is undergoing a historic transition as the country emerges as a global hub for electronics production. Given the geopolitical and economic backdrop, policy makers, government has set an ambitious target of expanding this sector's output to 300 billion dollars by mid 2026. The expansion of India's manufacturing ecosystem has become an increasing strategic imperative for the government. particularly as it seeks to curb overreliance on imports and to attract multinationals diversifying their supply chains the government views electronics manufacturing as an important route to achieving its economic goals and sees the sector as a high potential contributor to growth in gross domestic product and exports india's stable policy climate synergies between the central and state governments on the overarching direction of industrial growth and holistic operational policy measures have fueled the demand for translocating manufacturing to india a growing push towards supply chain diversification by large firms in the aftermath of covid-19 pandemic and globally emerging geopolitical lines have further facilitated this in addition to these factors india has continued to maintain competitive manufacturing wages sustained reduction in infrastructure gaps within the country through the implementation of programs such as bharat mala sagar mala pm gati shakti together with supply side incentives from the government will further improve capital productivity and greater investment to gdp ratio creating a virtuous cycle there is more to this the concerted push for digitization across the country has promoted the start of a digital era and digital revolution with the needle moving on the digital india initiative people of all age groups desire an improved quality of life between 2017 and 2022 the total number of internet subscribers in india has grown at a compound annual rate of 15% reaching 850.95 million by september 2022 India continues to rank high on several macroeconomic parameters financial attractiveness consumption pattern skills and availability and need for technology हमारे लिए टेक्नोलॉजी देश के सामान्य से सामान्य नागरिक को 
एम्पावर करने का एक सशक्त माध्यम है हमारे लिए टेक्नोलॉजी देश को आत्मनिर्भर बनाने का प्रमुख आधार है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया गोल इज टू ब्रॉडन एंड डीपन दंट्रीज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इको सिस्टम एट दिस जंक्चर नेशनल पॉलिसी ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टू थाउजेंड पोजिशनिंग इंडिया एज अ ग्लोबल हब फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम डिजाइन एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बाई इनकरेजिंग driving capabilities in the country and developing core components including chipsets and creating an enabling environment for the industry to compete globally it comes as no surprise that electronics has emerged as one of the fastest growing industries in the silicon age when the double movement of globalization and the world wide web created a massive demand for electronic commodities An increasingly digitalized world has ensured that there is no slowdown in the global electronic trade. India's capacity to manufacture for the world has been demonstrated across four major segments: mobile phones, consumer electronics, IT hardware, and electronic components that account for over 70% of India's domestic manufacturing profile. Global firms can readily leverage these domestic capabilities to achieve supply chain diversification and scale up production. by manufacturing in india in the early years of last decade the indian electronics industry faced a wide demand supply gap amid import dependency limited quality infrastructure a complex tax structure limited localization of supply chain staggered logistics and last mile connectivity inflexible labor laws limited r&d focus and inadequate funding and negligible domestic value addition However, the manufacturing landscape of India has completely changed now. In fact, India's semiconductor industry is on the cusp of a significant transformation, promising an exponential surge in job opportunities within the sector. Huge opportunities for the country. See, ten years back, what was electronics manufacturing in the country? Negligible, nothing practically. today electronics manufacturing is 80 billion us dollars that's the extent 25 lakh people are employed in electronics manufacturing right that is what digital india has make in india has brought the country to right along with that this component ecosystem is getting developed we are daily getting applications for some component coming into the country which basically means the industry is now maturing to a level where the entire ecosystem is now coming to the coming to our country the most fundamental raw material now will be semiconductor for all this right in semiconductor the advantage india has always had was a very large population of design engineers we have close to 50000 semiconductor design engineers working in the country for across the world there are good large leadership companies for whom these people are, these engineers are working india is also now the second biggest manufacturing hub for mobile phones due to heavy investment from original equipment manufacturers original design manufacturers and companies dealing in components and parts mobile phones manufactured in india had a market share of 19% in 2014 and that saw a jump to 98% in 2022 In recent years, global smartphone players like Samsung and Apple have all turned to India. We are focusing on first on productivity improvement that how we can be more productive compared to what they are in China and uh, then we are uh, working on the localization of uh, the components how we can have more local components so that we we can have less dependability from China and other countries and uh, in that process we can create more employment in India. With Honorable Prime Minister's vision for Digital India and our Make in India and Make for the World policies, India seeks to increase manufacturing to 25% of GDP by March 2025. With policies like Production Lead Incentive Scheme, global smartphone manufacturers have set up shop in India, and result, India's mobile phone exports have jumped from dollar 300 million in 2018 to an astounding 11 billion dollars in this year. India is the second largest mobile phone manufacturer globally, and is also the second largest market for smartphones in the world. and we are the fastest growing smartphone market in the world 
Recently, 27 IT manufacturing firms have also been approved under the PLI scheme for making laptops, tablets, PCs, servers and other electronics devices. Not only these policies are adding to our digital economy, but it's also helping create employment for the lakhs of our youth. This is truly going to be India's decade. Indian industry is consistently strengthening its digital capabilities by adopting deep tech technologies and focusing on deploying emerging technology solutions such as artificial intelligence, cyber security and IoT. It has a robust supply of experienced and fresh talent to cater to both core and new age technologies. The companies are already setting up and taking notice of the India advantage. The technology industry in India has shown tremendous growth and has been growing at a CAGR of 9% since fiscal year 2019. India is one of the most preferred destinations when it comes to setting up global capability centers. The total number of such centers in India are 1500 plus. Over 45 new data centers are expected to come in India by 2025. Data centers in India have attracted investment of $10 billion since 2020. The launch of 5G is going to have a positive impact on the businesses and economy in general. In India, which is one of the largest digital economies in the world, by having nearly ubiquitous access to high bandwidth in almost every part of the country. The Digital Personal Data Protection Law signals the ushering in of a new era in India's digital development journey, one which recognizes the value and centrality of personal data in today's globally interconnected digital economy, as well as one that takes cognizance of the need to safeguard such personal data from misuse. At a time when technology has become the defining paradigm of the 21st century, India's ongoing data protection regulation underscores the nation's focus on building a strong data privacy regime. In order to boost electronics manufacturing, including semiconductors in the country, and incentivize large investments in electronics value chain, as well as promote exports, the PLI scheme was unveiled. The production-linked incentive scheme for large-scale electronics manufacturing was notified on 1st of April 2020. Over the tenure of PLI scheme, the 16 approved companies are expected to lead to total production of more than 10.5 lakh crore. Out of the total production, in the next five years, around 60% is expected to be contributed by exports of the order of 6.5 lakh crore. The companies approved under the scheme are expected to bring an additional investment in electronics manufacturing to the tune of 11,000 crore. Production-linked incentive scheme for IT hardware was notified on 3rd of March 2021. Over the tenure of the scheme, the 14 approved companies under the scheme are expected to lead to total production of around 1,60,000 crore. Out of the total production, more than 37% is expected to be contributed by exports. By the order of 60,000 crore, the scheme is expected to bring an additional investment in electronics manufacturing to the tune of 2,500 crore. Key government initiatives aimed at boosting domestic production of electronics and IT hardware include the scheme for promotion of manufacturing electronic components and semiconductors, which offers financial incentives for the production of electronic components and semiconductors. The Modified Electronics Manufacturing Clusters Initiative seeks to establish world-class infrastructure for electronics manufacturing. The government has also liberalized foreign direct investment, allowing up to 100% FDI for electronics manufacturing. PLI's the production-linked incentive scheme has indeed been the most effective outcome-oriented tool uh, that, that has helped the entire campaign of Make in India. And we've seen that in several sectors, starting with the electronics and mobile sector, uh, great progress has been made, investments have come in, uh, many companies are on board, uh, and uh, while production has started in many, in some we've seen some extremely uh, encouraging export figures. Having said that, uh, the PLI scheme, uh, in my opinion, uh, has two challenges which we need to, in order to deepen and bring in the global value chains for each of these product lines that we have chosen, uh, we will have to do something different because the current PLI schemes are good for assembly given their investment to turnover to incentive ratios. 
but they are not good enough for high value added manufacturing especially component manufacturing and raw material manufacturing so we need to tweak them with the correct turnover to investment ratios in order to be able to get that right uh, the second thing is that plis by their nature the investment thresholds have kept the sme segment completely out of that uh, out of those incentives and hence a pli scheme or i would say maybe an employee linked scheme or a value added linked scheme uh, is for designed for smes is the need of the hour because that will then make this entire manufacturing a grassroot uh, level uh, uh, grassroot level uh, project uh, and millions of our entrepreneurs in the smes who are wanting to expand uh, diversify or enter into the new segments will be able to come in and that is when we can say that india is truly becoming a factory for the world we are an applicant under dpiit's pli for white goods a scheme which uh, provides an incentive of 4 to 6% is a game changer the surge in demand signifies a pivotal moment in india's electronics industry which has positioned itself not only as a key growth driver but as a key catalyst for the quest of skill man power in financial year 2023 the technology industry is estimated to have 5.4 million employees and contribution of 53% in india's service exports With 23 new unicorns, India became the second highest country in terms of number of unicorns added in the year 2022. 1300 plus new tech startups emerged in 2022. Another important factor contributing to India's emergence as an electronics manufacturing hub is the country's highly skilled workforce. India is home to a large pool of technical and engineering talent. with many of the country's top universities offering courses in electronics and engineering this has made india an attractive destination for multinational companies looking to set up research and development centers and manufacturing plants in the country हमारे यहाँ पे एक्चुअली जैसे टी डब्ल्यू एस बनता है नेक बैंड बनता है स्मार्ट वॉच बनता है स्पीकर बनते हैं नेक स्टेप वाले वायर भी बनते हैं With the government's unwavering support and key initiatives, the country has been successful in promoting domestic manufacturing and boosting exports. The production-linked incentive scheme, in particular, has been a game changer for the electronic sector in India. With several global electronic giants investing heavily in the country, India is on its way to becoming a major electronics manufacturing hub in the world. Well, viewers. That's all we had for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV. Goodbye for now from my side.